I, does this have any chance of passing? Yes, there's still strong activism protectionists in the state, uh, mostly Democrats who really are resistant to recriminalizing. They still, they will speak of the drug addiction crisis and the urgency to do something, and yet all of their proposals are really just baby steps. They're not going to change the direction um, th that I can see in any way. It's just light. Wow. Um, I, I was just I was, I was as much responding to the video as I was to the, the video of, yeah. of what people look like on these drugs. Um, proposed changes, House Bill 4002, uh, mm -hmm. makes drug possession a class A misdemeanor, mandates treatment to avoid jail time, bans the public use of drugs, requires prison sentences for drug dealing. They, they sound like sort of basic things. What I'm trying to figure out, though, is you have had an influx of people into Oregon. Um, of junkies and addicts and dealers and everything else for obvious reasons, because they, they know what the laws are. Is just this enough to put the genie back in the bottle? No, I don't think so. And Oregonians, when they passed ballot measure 110, what they wanted for people suffering with drug addiction, they wanted treatment instead of jail, understandably. The problem is they have not been seeking treatment voluntarily. So the problem, as all of your pictures depict, has, has just exploded. It's just sad what it has done to Portland, Oregon. So it spilled out into our streets, exacerbated the homelessness. We have open-air markets. So when you just remove all barriers, um, decriminalizing yeah. drug use, you're going to get more of it. So what they're well, actually... The Oregon Oregon took this to the extreme, right? Oregon drug deaths uh, up 38 um, percent, 1,700 through August of 2020, third, three high, high, third highest increase in the United States. Oregon sort of created its own opioid crisis by this law. But we've covered a lot of cities, right? Uh, think in Philadelphia, Chicago, my hometown is St. Louis, Los Angeles, San Francisco, where even the laws on the books aren't enforced. And I'm wondering if there's any desire, even if you guys pass this law if the district attorney in Portland, who I don't know, but I'm guessing is pretty liberal just based on the demographics, are, are going to enforce them and actually then charge and prosecute drug dealers with felonies and force people to either go to rehab or go to jail. So what they're proposing is a C misdemeanor, which isn't much more than the violation right now that's being handed out thousands of e uh, violations, and yet less than 2% of people are seeking tre treatment. And the C misdemeanor, our law enforcement, law enforcement tells us, will not really help them significantly, significantly with any tools. So then they want, they're adding this deflection. Instead of calling it a diversion, they're calling it a deflection program. So it, what is yet to be defined but again, it's sort of a stop. It's sort of a pit stop. It's still a big nothing. It's a big nothing. The C and uh, a rose. the election. We are arguing oh, yeah. for an A misdemeanor, which is uh, the, it's similar to a Dewey, right? It's uh, drinking while driving. Yeah, I did drive around the Wow. No, and when and you, you say. We want to continue with the diversion programs and the specialty drug courts. Fascinating. Yeah. Really you see, you see, we, we, when, you're, when, you're, when you're starting to argue over what you're calling. Uh, sending people to jail or to, to treatment, uh, what name it is. I guess that sort of arose by any other name or, uh, as we like to say, rearranging the deck chairs on the Titanic. It's good to see you, ma'am. Uh, we're we're going to follow this bill through uh, the committees and through the House and then um, and see what happens. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. You're welcome, Leland. Good night. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.